Okay, well, welcome back. And we just uh, got everything test fitted. For those of you who are watching, this is kind of session three about putting this apparatus together. It's a 20 foot car trailer, but it's kind of being set up for more. But one of the things we needed was the winch. And for those who are paying attention, we've uh, attached this box. The box closes in the winch and well, there's the front of it. And what we're gonna do is test it. This is the Apex from Badland, 12,000. And uh, as you can see, still got a little bit of work to do, but it's all put together. That's the battery switch. And we got the remote, which you have to turn on. And we need some weight pulling on the uh, deal there. So why don't you guys jump up there and grab onto that thing. Remember, a car's down low. focus in. I was over there. Now I'll go here. Make sure it's got something to pull. Don't let it be easy. could have been better it came in a little bit sloppy but then again a couple of girls are much lighter than a car or anything else so like I said pretty much everything we got in the pack is in here and we'll go over a few features of it I want to go there's a lot of videos on this winch out there as far as its features go but it's got all the basics it's where you engage or disengage it so you can pull it out. Under here, there's a switch to turn on and off the remote. And there is a wire that can go from under there to the bottom of the remote. But the remote seems to be working pretty good. We'll keep the wire and the remote in the truck for now, but I got a feeling it's going to end up in some kind of special made place. That's a Super Start Marine battery. I really went back and forth on this because part of me wanted to put in, <coughs> pardon me, wanted to put in two six volt batteries like our solar system had. Then the other part wanted, you know, I went back and forth because batteries have different attributes and I'm gonna do a video on that at some point in time. Decided to go with this one. The numbers work, the cost, was pretty pretty fair it's like like 104 dollars for this battery but it also came with like i said i didn't have to add anything except the battery it had the remote the remotes the wire to wire the remote if you want this was all pre-wired came with the switch okay the switch is not the super highest quality switch in the world but it's it's adult operated so i'm not too too worried about that and even the big ground cable came in with it and this one is kind of neat in that you can actually remove the entire control section of this and mount it into a, a remote location. Now, we have enough room for this, obviously, to close and lock. You know, it's, it's not really made to be stealthy, although it does have that attribute until you look right there and yeah there's still some things that need to be done so that's not painted but we'll get into that some other time uh the reason this is a the, the reason this box is actually on here is because chains binders and other things can all ride in here and be locked 
So the box, the idea was for security and for storage. So I have to carry a bunch of crap in the back of my truck all the time. Because when we use this trailer for whatever we get it used for, it, it's kind of set up to come as a unit. The box fit well. The, uh, the tongue jack still operates as normal. I suppose if there's any only downside is that you can't quite cut as close a corner as you could before. They've reduced, you know, reduced the turning radius a little bit. Quite frankly, my Chevy truck, I'm not all that impressed with its uh, turning radius to start with. So I don't think that'll become a problem. And we do move it with the tractor quite a bit. And there is absolutely no problem there whatsoever. Don't have to worry about jackknifing, striking the box. Is it going to work? Well, we'll find out. Um... The box is attached pretty heavily. We put we reinforced this quite a bit. We talked about that in the other videos. It does slightly lean backwards. It's kind of hard to see, which is good. But we found out when they built the trailer right here is actually tilted back. I'm going to exaggerate, but tilted back a lot. So getting it to nestle in there wasn't easy. And what we ended up doing is putting a one inch by one inch steel piece of steel tubing all the way across here that's welded to the tongue and then it's screwed down through you can see the screw heads so it's on there the box will bend before it comes loose and that's really all i can ask it to do so we're uh we're just about at the end of the day here and I do have a few other things to do. I'm going to build something to, to uh, contain that battery from sliding or bouncing. That's coming up. And then as I showed you earlier, got a little bit more work to do back here. It's minor stuff. But probably the biggest thing is I'm not too happy about how high up off the deck that fair lead is. I uh, should have measured a little better. I think the winch would be much happier if it was, oh, an inch, inch and a half lower. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to monkey with that terribly right now. I don't see it as a deal breaker. Just, uh, if y'all do something like this, pay a little closer attention to that than I did. So, the sun is getting near the horizon and the goats are crying. So, we're going to call this one ended for today and we'll bring you back at least one more time when we get all the gear that's going to go in here in here and uh we'll see you then thanks a lot we'll see you next time around